I love fast external SSDs, but if you wanna get top performance, you're either gonna need a drive with USB 4 or Thunderbolt if you wanna get top performance. So today we're gonna to look at the SanDisk Extreme Pro with USB 4. This is an all new drive from SanDisk that gives you speeds all the way up to about 3,500 megabytes a second on the reading and the write, depending on the device that you use with this. So in this video, we're gonna do some speed tests with different computers, USB, Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 5 computers so that you can know the speeds to expect with this depending on the device you get. I do wanna say SanDisk sent me this for free for purposes of making this video. They have no input into this content. This is my experience using this drive, who I think it's for and who I think there might be a better option for instead. So whenever I got this out of the box, I was pretty surprised at how big this is when you compare it to the older Extreme Pro SSDs. The size has definitely gone up a bit, but it's because it uses an all new drive, all new controller, all new enclosure. So it's gonna get completely different performance than any of the other SanDisk drives that we've seen in the past. Whenever I tested this with my M4 MacBook Air with Thunderbolt 4, I was getting speeds of about 3,100 megabytes a second on the read and the write. And whenever I put this in my M4 Max, with Thunderbolt 5, I was getting speeds all the way up to about 3,400 megabytes a second on both the read and the write. So this will achieve the faster speeds if you use it with a faster Thunderbolt 5 computer than if you're just using it with Thunderbolt 4, but they're pretty close in terms of performance in the real world. The Extreme Pro with USB 4 is designed to be very fast and also to work well even under heavy load and to continue to perform over prolonged use. Whenever I transferred 900 gigabytes of files from this to my computer's SSD, it only took about four minutes, so I was very pleased with that transfer speed, getting almost a terabyte of files in about four minutes is fantastic. I've also used this all day to edit a ton of footage on Final Cut Pro, running multiple 6K and 4K streams of footage at the same time. It worked great, had no issues with crashing or with this drive overheating. I also noticed this drive feels a little bit cooler to the touch than some of the other fast SSDs I've been using. Even after having it plugged in all day, I didn't notice the heat building up on it like I did with some other SSDs and enclosures I've tested. Just like all the other SanDisk drives, this one's very durable and is designed with a very rugged silicone outer shell and it's also got an aluminum core to help keep it cool and to give it more rigidity. This drive is rated to survive drops all the way up to two meters and it's also got an IP65 rating against water and dust. So this is gonna be a very good durable drive meant to be used in the real world. Another thing about this is you get a five-year warranty with it, so you know SanDisk is gonna have your back if you have any issues with it. In the box, all you get is the drive and you get the nice short USB 4 cable. And I love that they actually mark this on the side to show you this is a 40 gigabit capable cable and it supports power up to 240 watts. So I love that this is labeled so whenever you use this drive, you can make sure that you've got the fast cable ready to go. Another nice feature with this is you can reformat it and it supports hardware encryption. So you can always put this in an encrypted format, which will slow your disk speeds down a little bit but it'll allow you to put a password on the drive. Just note that if you do encrypt it, it's gonna erase all the files on it, so make sure that this is empty before you go to encrypt it. One other thing about this, whenever I first used it, I wasn't getting the top speeds on it, so depending on the device you're using this with, I do recommend reformatting this. So I tested this in APFS on all my Mac computers, and that greatly increased the speeds whenever I reformatted this. So make sure that you do that before you get ready to start using this so that you can enjoy the top possible speeds on this. Price on these are gonna be all over the place depending on the capacity you get, any sales that are going on, and just the state of the SSD market. Right now, the two terabyte version of this is available for $280, and the four terabyte version is available for $430. I would recommend getting the four terabyte if you're doing a lot of video editing because those larger files do really pile up and that's gonna give you more space so you can have more projects going at the same time and so you don't have to worry about render files or proxy files or things like that as you're editing. But I have no problem recommending this for any user who's looking for something that's gonna get fast speeds and handle prolonged usage very well. I love how durable this feels. I just wish that they could have made it a little bit smaller like some of the other Extreme Pros because this is gonna take up a little more space in your bag or it's also just gonna take up a little bit more space on your worktop. SanDisk also has the Pro G40, which is another really fast drive. This one technically uses Thunderbolt instead of USB 4, and it is gonna be a little bit slower than the Extreme Pro, but it's significantly smaller, so the choice is really up to you because both of these are really fast drives. They both perform really well in the real world, and they also both have very good durability ratings. So I would get the Extreme Pro USB 4 if you want the fastest possible speeds, but get the Pro G40 if you want a drive that's just a little bit smaller. But the Extreme Pro is also gonna be a little bit more backwards compatible based on the fact that it also supports USB 4 and not just Thunderbolt 3 or the USB 3 speeds. So who is this drive for? This is for anyone who wants to have really fast transfer speeds if you're moving a lot of large files back and forth from one drive to another. If you're doing advanced video editing, photo editing, it's gonna work great for music production as well because this drive is really able to handle a ton of files being accessed on it at once 
due to that fast USB 4 interface and the really fast speeds that you get on the drive. I highly recommend this drive for anyone who's looking for very fast file transfers or for great performance no matter what tasks you're throwing at it. If you're interested in buying the SanDisk Extreme Pro with USB 4, I do have links to buy it in the description below. If you got any questions about this drive, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear them. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.